Remember that as we're going through this and you need to check on other resources, hopefully not, but if you do, there's actually many different ways that you may see one particular one, this is modus ponus, I believe, for all three examples here, that they're going to be written. But they're all similar in what the overall result is going to be. So like I said before in a previous one, this is the one that you see in your char chart. I have seen it, notice it's just swapped, but it's still the same thing. And remember with an and, with an and, as you know from programming, everything has to be true in order for the result or the conclusion to be true. So these two statements, these two statements have to be true in order to get to that conclusion. That's what your whole focus needs to be round about. Now, one thing I do want to introduce is that your book and many other examples kind of give you a, a worded syntax or setup or statement to kind of well, get you into the mood of what's going to be happening with the real work here. So just be ready for this. You're going to see some word breaks downs. They're going to give you some of the functions in order for you to use, but it's still just the same idea, and then it's going to tell you what rule to use to kind of prove it to make sure it's okay. So heads up for wording that's going to be coming up, like statements, words, problem statements. But again, you're really going to be working on how these statements are set up in our premises to our conclusion for our inferences.